When do you switch from flip flops to real shoes? Is that December too, or? Once, so. it, once it gets wet. Where are my flip flops? <laughs> Everybody, it's Eric Jensen. Ali Boca and Hannah Boca. Mother daughter team. So excited to be here with both of you guys. Thanks. It's great. So in the last seven days in Salt Lake County, uh, there's been uh, 382 go under contract homes go under contract. And out of those 382, 232 were on the market less than 14 days. So things are still selling hot. quickly. Hot, right? <laughs> still a hot real estate market. Things have changed though from the summer. And we'll talk a little bit about that. Um, in the last seven days, 305 homes have sold. So that's keeping pace pretty consistently about that number. Yep. Right. Um, Allie has some stats she wants to talk about. So in the last 14 days, 655 have sold and 211 of those have been under 400,000. Mm, isn't that interesting? So, so people that think it's, you know, too expensive. Right. And, right. and those homes have sold quickly though. And that's what you have to keep in mind. Most of them, uh, within a week. Mm -hmm. So if you're in that price point, the, unfortunately, you don't have the luxury of, oh, I want to think about it for a while. Right. You still don't. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We are seeing quite a few go close to list price, way more than the summer, though. Yeah, yeah. You were saying that last week, too, that more homes are going um, mm -hmm. at just at list price, price mm -hmm. not like the 5 10% over. Right. But you did notice when you guys were looking that um, that like three to four price range, mm -hmm. we're still seeing more overages there. So it seems sure. like there's obviously a lot of competition still, mm -hmm. unfortunately, if you're like a first time home buyer. Right, target stuff. Yeah. Right. Um, so maybe if you're like watching this video and a first time home buyer, you're like, I don't buy it. I don't buy that things are going for a list if you're in that like rat race hunt to get into a house in that price range. So, sure. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, and one of the reasons for pricings or for, for list to sale price being really close. I've had a few, Allie's had a few uh, low appraisals. Yeah, like you guys were saying that back in the spring, appraisals were, you know, kind of commensurate, is that the right word? <laughs> With um, what people were willing to pay and now mm -hmm. they're seeing, you're seeing things come in low. You saw something in Park City come in. 100,000 low. Yeah. And it was only a $600,000 condo and it came in just under five. We, we renegotiated on the price and uh, it ended up selling at 550. So do you guys think that's a good thing that appraisers are kind of like uh, maybe tamping down the you know market a little bit? Possibly. Yeah. 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 I think it's a little too early to tell on that one, but really good point. That might be the evening out of the market and the plateauing of pricing. You also see in that, that market a lot of townhomes and condominiums though mm -hmm. also. Sure. So you're comparing apples to apples. Mm -hmm. It's no longer, you know, <clears throat> an apple to an orange, you know, in the right. at the other market. So there's there's those consistent units within those developments that the um, appraiser has to use as comps. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Because if you have a house, like a bunch of houses that you're comparing, they could vary quite a bit. Whereas right. if you have a condo next to a condo, they're essentially yeah. usually exactly the same. Kind of, lock, kind of locks that price in yeah, a yeah. bit longer. Good point. For those sure. are the low appraisals I got they were in town on projects so cool i think one thing that we were talking about earlier was if um right now going into the holiday season is a good time to list i know a mm -hmm. lot of people probably don't mm -hmm. like having people come through their house while the holidays mm -hmm. are happening but I think, time. yeah yeah but i think um you guys have ideas about how it can benefit both buyers and sellers mm -hmm. yeah it definitely benefits because people that are looking during the holiday season are very serious buyers and sellers that have their home listed are very serious sellers so we can have some more serious transactions <laughs> so that's what we want <laughs> so we we'll must be very serious here no funny transactions no funny business here <laughs> anything else and ladies? you like last december you had your like the best month of the year right so. yeah it was it was a knockout month it was great cool super grateful so for if you're thinking of listing you could contact one of us. Contact all of us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Happy right? to help you. Happy holidays coming up.